It's okay. They're not there anymore. I don't have these up there, no. What's up, my loves and fellow creators? Can y'all hear me right now? Let me know if y'all can hear me. I'm trying to see if I, if I got them, if we are live right now. Okay, so you can see it on, can you see it on Facebook or is that YouTube? I'm on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> How you see? Oh, I was gonna say, I was trying not to get nobody in there quite yet. My bad. <laughs> Okay, um, and see if it's on Facebook as well. Okay. All right, yes, y'all can hear. What is up, my loves and fellow creatives? We're here at the Graphics Expo in Irvin, Texas. Of course, we have a workshop tomorrow, but today we wanted to uh, explore the expo and I wanna introduce y'all to some of the coaches that came out. And for some of us, this is the first expo ever. And I, I want this to be a lot of our experience, okay? So I'm going to walk y'all around a little bit. Y'all will be able to ask me questions. Uh, we'll stop and, and see some demonstrations and you all will get a chance to see what the expo is like. Okay. So first I'm going to, I'm going to have uh, coach Van Teresa. Y'all ready for me to introduce y'all? We got coach Sharon and coach Van Teresa here and holding it down. Look, they got on their branded apparel. Look, your right hand. Yes. LDD Christians, and we did that at the workshop, right? Yes. Yes. So we're doing another workshop um, tomorrow. So if you're in the Irvin, Texas area, please come by and um, register for that workshop. We have Sezzle available too. So if you need to break it down, we can break it down. All right. So I'm going to hand this uh, camera over to Coach Van Teresa. She's going to help us out today. You can hold it however you need to. Okay. There you go. And we're just going to walk, walk and talk, walk and talk. Y'all, I see uh, the rolling bag made its appearance again. We're going to make sure everywhere we go that we're branded, that we're able to talk about our businesses and explore other people's businesses to understand how we can collaborate and work together, or also how we can just utilize equipment that we didn't know existed. So y'all told me I want to see DTF. Um, I didn't so far see really any sublimation, but I will definitely make sure that if that's there, that we highlight that. And um, in any other processes that y'all want to learn about our materials, there's vinyl here. Um, I don't know if we have any other unique uh, processes or materials, but if I see them, I will make sure that y'all see them. Let's check out. Oh, the transfers. I know. You got the fruit. Oh, Kind of strawberry. 
Mm-hmm. Can I have a strawberry? Just give it to me on the floor. Wrong one. You can have all the strawberries. I'm going to get to you a product guide. Yo, you're going to YouTube when you talk to me instead of the, because we're trying to show them the process. So this is, what is it called again? That powder? That's Howard Color Okay, and what is the name of the process again? The printing process? So it's a hybrid transfer. It's not quite direct to film, but that's essentially the color that's produced digitally. We put our white water-based ink. Find it, okay. which allows it to be printed at 275 okay. degrees. Right, gotcha. And then, yeah, so then let me put them here in the product guide. Okay. That's our color vibe. And then, uh, gang sheet for that is 12 by 18. Mm-hmm. And then we encourage ganging, whatever you can fit on there. Right. Fire away. And what's the turnaround look like? Uh, two days. Oh, wow. So if you get an order in Monday, you probably get that shipped out Monday. And where are you located? Where are you shipping from? Yeah. Uh, that product ships in Huntsville, mm-hmm. Texas, and then we also have locations in Los Angeles which you really ship from. So depending where you're located, if you're more West Coast, we'll ship from LA. If you're more Central or East Coast, we'll ship from Huntsville. And then uh, also a list of uh, the garments uh, recommended for our products. So, and then the, the substrates, so, so you can print on polyester, cotton. Yep, I mean, even oh, like, like color even for like nylon, spandex. So, uh, super so like umbrellas and, and materials that are really hard to stick to. Yeah, yeah, it's super versatile. Yeah. So this is um, what's the name of the company? Howard. Howard Custom Transfer. This Howard is. Custom Transfer. So go check them out. And uh, sure, like this one. And what, what's the thing that that you wrote to me? What was that? That was um. Oh, some Quint, little. That, yeah. Quint, Q. Yeah. I'm in the middle of a conversation. So. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get YouTube. you. Know. We're gonna get this good-looking yeah. guy right here on YouTube, and y'all can give the video a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yeah. <laughs> I love your look. Well, thank you. Thank you. This is a No, what? we have five likes and okay. 14 views. So, so we got to get that up. Matter of fact, y'all share this video because I'm doing something very special for the scholarship winner. Yeah, so y'all make sure that y'all share. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, we'll like also it. have another prize, okay? Y'all yeah, like the video, I'm going to call Erica over here. Oh, well, matter of fact, we need to go find E now because she didn't want to put the pressure oh, they can hear. on. Yeah, they can okay, hear. Okay, I didn't know that. Yes, you can. Let's go find Erica since y'all need a little motivation to share today. Let's get our motivation going. All right. right. And we'll try to go where uh, where other people aren't talking. You know, just to because when they when they're talking to us and it's trying to the mic is trying to pick up, I want to make sure folks can can hear what we're saying. Too. Okay. And here, and more importantly, hear what the person's saying about their Y'all wanted to see DTF as well. Let's see if we can find the DTF. I think it's on the other side of this. What was that DTF that we saw? It's on the other side. There's several. Y'all, DTF is really picking up because we see a lot of folks mm -hmm. out here with very Honestly, the time, like everything, everything, yeah. everything, 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 everything,
as a patron and, and you know, it's pretty fast. Can y'all see it? Let me, let me move this nice and Sure. So I'm just going to do a red light what to trace it. <laughs> so you can see it. So that's why it's going to engrave like. Okay. And so right now, the, the red light is detecting the contours of the. No, the red light right now is just it's a, it's a demo to show where it's going to mark. Oh, okay. Yeah, just showing so off for us. Yeah. Place, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> so now I'm just going to go ahead and mark. Okay. I can even see the fuse moving towards that extraction. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. That's done. That's not done. That's it's done? done? Yeah. It's, done. it's fast. Wow. Yeah, the, uh, cool, y'all. Look at this. Let me get my hair, my strand of hair off of it. That's it. Look at that. Nice. That was that quick. Did y'all see how that fast that like was? 15 seconds, 15, mm -hmm. 20 seconds. It's about it's eight seconds. That is amazing. Forty thousand dollars. Now, Glowforge, of course, is is a lot of our community has the Glowforge. We have a YouTube channel, of course, where um, we're helping people explore go from their businesses to being a craft to enterprise and then eventually legacy. Yeah. So this is definitely something where we're looking at. Okay, the Glowforge community got the Glowforge. Everybody's saying they want bigger, they want better. Yes. Um, this is one of those huh? yes. What is what is the bed uh, or, or how large? So this is a small one, it's only a six by six, but okay. we offer something like that. Oh, wow. Okay. And um, those other systems, the footprint for those, are they about, like, if it's a 60 watt, is it twice as big or is it bigger than twice as big? The other system, it's probably about six inches wider, uh -huh. and the length of it is the same. Really? Like it's just about 87 inches. Okay. Yeah. Now, can these machines function in an environment that's, because we're, we're dealing with a lot of people who are starting with home baking businesses and they're growing into the industry. Could this work in a garage setting or in, in a room interior? It can. Yeah, it can. It can. Yeah. We, have, we actually have this. Like, you know, our machine is keeping it in a garage. Really? Okay. That's awesome. This is good stuff. Any any other thing that you need me to take? Because I'm, I'm going to make sure that I have uh, some material for them as well. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Look at so that! Plastic, plastic, plastic. And and like I said, it has a it's, it's a three D engraver, so you don't have to actually have anything that rotates this surface in order to achieve this. It will automatically tell that it has a a, uh, a non flat surface, so that you can do all kind of products. Uh, let's see that that bowl over there. If you zoom into some of those products over there, um, I know these flasks are popular as well. The acrylic stuff is, is really cool. I would love also to see what what type of products um, are, are great. I know it's said acrylic. Acrylic, leather, wood, uh -huh. wood. And, um, oh, denim. Right. Denim, obviously the tumblers. Denim. I never yes. thought of it. Do y'all see that going on the, on the jeans right now? Y'all see that? I would have never thought yeah. that. That is awesome. Oh man, y'all started something with like this. Yeah, so that's this the benefit awesome of having a gavel. Right. It's called the gavel. It's a gantry. Uh -huh. gavel, gavel versus gantry. So gavel is going to be able to. Gavel is 3D features. 3D features versus the gantry. So we can go we can go uh, look up those terms later and get real technical. Y'all know the doc is going to get technical with you. But this is really amazing. This is why you want to come to the expo and you want to connect with people. Like, what's your name? Orlando right here is, is, is putting us up on technology that we never would have known unless we physically came out and saw this for ourselves. So this is why we want you to start coming out to the expo and just seeing for yourself, touching things, feeling things, and getting demonstrations and knowing where you want your business to grow next. And who knows, we should be able to have people in our network that have one of these um, inside of their own businesses, okay? Thank you so much, brother. It has been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Uh, y'all make sure that y'all check out uh, Radiant Laser Systems. Right. And let us know. If you get one, let the group know so that we can network, okay? <laughs> All right, love. So we're going to move on to the next one. Innate. Innate. Innate creators. Innate. I N N A T. Did you scan it? Uh, no. Let me, let me, let me.
Shannon. Shannon. So we have 26 people watching and only nine well, let's, likes. Let's, 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 see. Let's, yeah. let's, let's go over here. Are you on the, you're, oh, you're on the, are you still on yours too? Were you on the podium? I mean, I keep calling it your stream yard. Ain't the stream yard? Yeah, I didn't know if you were on yours too. Oh, no, I ain't want to join in. And um, can y'all, can somebody share it? Make sure y'all share it to your uh, groups and stuff. The one that's on Make the sure you page. guys share. Y'all make sure y'all share. That's why that's why we had to go get E, because y'all wasn't sharing. So when y'all don't share the videos, I got to go get the boss. Y'all huh. think I'm the boss. She the boss. Huh. What you said? <laughs> Hello. Um, y'all might be on um, YouTube Live right now. Can you talk about some of the stuff that's going on? Yeah. Um, Material you can feed directly through your sawgrass or Epsom printer that is sublimation receptive, sublimation ink receptive. So you don't have to sublimate to the vinyl. You print directly on it, and then you can cut it out. There you go. Now, what is the name of that material? Uh huh. Subliflex. Subly print. And see, we only knew about uh, easy subly, and then it was issues with like having to burn it and press it, and some people would have a different issue. So this one is direct to print, and it works for the Epson and the sawgrass, y'all. Uh, I know we were having issues because some of them only claim to work with one of the other. Uh, yeah, and plus, we don't, true color sublimation ink doesn't have sawgrass yet. What did he say about the sawgrass? Caution. So this is a one here. That's that's got glitter. This is a product called Frosty Clear, which is actually a semi clear film. Mm -hmm. It's actually polyurethane. Right. It's been sublimated. And this was printed prior to pressing or sublimated after? It was sublimated. Oh. And this does this does look like we've done twenty washes on it and mm -hmm. This we found out um, on the 
really because what happens is creators like us will play with the product yeah. and then yeah. tell you how how it can that's awesome and what is this product called again frosty clear, frosty clear. and i think i have heard about it Wait a minute. She screen printed those last night. Really? On the stencil. You might have Oh, to make stencils. Use food grade. Right. That's awesome. So I've never seen that. Are those are real cookies? Yeah. Show us a picnic. That's awesome. Do you mind if I take one? I got me a cookie that was uh, specially printed with specialty materials, y'all. This is cool. And this is how we have to be as entrepreneurs. I was just explaining this. We got we have to start calling ourselves crafters because that kind of gives it like a oh I tinker with things. I think what we're doing is we're innovators in a space that when we want to find something that works, if we don't have a two hundred thousand dollar machine to do so, we will figure out a way to do it. And he's just telling us that these this process was actually developed from crafters like you all who are taking the materials and figuring out how and what you can do with them to take it to the next level. So this is even interesting to see that there's a trickle up and a trickle down when it comes to the the manufacturing the providers and the people who are putting their hands on the actual merchandise y'all we are literally creating solutions together so this is great stuff now how was this one done is that those individual colors or that, is that printed as well no that's one of the patterns that we print in the house oh so, so you we, do custom printed vinyl as well, well we print rolls uh, of film and blade mixes oh, okay. laminate them uh -huh. and so from the sheet Oh, got you. So, that, so we'll check out some of those um, printings. Now, do you take requests for those prints, or are they just we, a certain well, number of prints? We do. Prints we have done custom prints. Oh, wow. yeah. We have to print 40 inch by 160. Okay, so that has to be a minimum in order to yeah, unless we can sell it to somebody else. Right. Well, that, that's understandable. We have our minimum soon when we're putting in extra work. So, what is one of your most popular vinyls, even if it's not a uh, printable solution? Um, that is a specialty, not just uh, our standard vinyl, but is it holographic? Um, is it foils? What is it glitter? Like, what's the well, next? Glitter, glitter was very popular for a long time, but right? it's, I think it's sort of fading away now. Right. Some people don't like the, the, the roughness of it. Got you. Now, um, and then this glitter doesn't have that roughness. Uh huh. Smooth. Yeah, that is smooth. Yeah, this it is smooth to the touch. What's this one called again? Pearl flips. Yeah, so this is a glittery look to it, but it has a very smooth surface. This is perfect. Yeah. And this also, I know sometimes the glitter would catch and kind of scratch up and rough up surfaces and stuff as well. Um, but I was a big fan of the glitter. I would sublimate the glitter. I would do, you know, different color glitters. Um, but if the market starts changing, you have to understand that there are solutions that you can offer whenever people come to you with problems. So this is, this is a solution to glitter. It takes a, a lot for it to actually adhere to the product. And for years, this has been uh, the product that I prefer. <laughs> and for vinyl, that's, y'all know I don't do much vinyl anymore, but if I do vinyl, I'm using the Thermoflex because it, have a, it has a softer butter, like a buttery texture to it. And it doesn't crumple and crease and, and it's, it doesn't feel crispy. Mm -hmm. um, and it has a better range to me of, of temperature where you don't have to have those effects. So um, I really do. I rock with Thermoflex. Uh, it feels good. It looks good. And um, I've had shirts that have been at least 15 years old and still have uh, really good, uh, really good adhesion. The shirt tears up before this this product does, right? <laughs> this is good stuff. So, anything I'm missing? Anything you want to show us before we um, head out? Yeah? you have any example of that? Oh, look. And this, this, is, this is the print. Yeah, I was going to say. But it's laminated. I, I would think with lamination it would be so much thicker, but it's not. No, no. We, we print the film. Mm -hmm. And then we just put a laminate on top and we strip the back and the off. So oh, it's a one step over. Got you. Just cut from got the you. Eye, <laughs> mirror, turn it over, press it. Got so, you don't have to so, so, so the, so the, I got you. So, the, when you say lamination, I'm, uh, 
you're just speaking on basically you're creating that transfer sheet yeah. step so the customer does not have to do a transfer just step. Just exactly like that's, do with them. that's a good explanation. Yeah. Gotcha. Just try to make it easy. Now what is that product there that's on uh, that the Yeah, I see it. And what's that material about? Because a lot of our people have the BN20s. Yeah, this is what Okay, and what's the name of that? Is uh, Ultimate Matte Print. Ultimate, Ultimate Matte Print, but you have to have a solvent printer to print on that material. So if you have the, uh, the rolling BN20s or you have a large format solvent printer, that material, let's, let's see how it feels. It's turbo, it goes only five seconds. Oh, Six wow, seconds. five seconds. And it, it has a soft finish. I definitely feel it. It has a it has a hand to it, but it's not shiny and too glossy. But it definitely has a, a little, uh, little 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 thickness to it. You can feel it on the shirt. All right. And then this looks cool here. Look at that. This looks like oh, this it's perforated glitter. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, David. It's been wonderful. My name is Shannon, um, and we'll have this on our YouTube. So if anyone has any questions, can I send them to your website? Yeah, all right. Thank you so much, David. And thank you for being brave and getting on the YouTubers with us. We appreciate it. This has been fun. And David's all 50 years. So there's no question that we can't ask you right now that you can get, hey, I, you, you know it already. Well, awesome. Well, maybe we can we can collaborate sometime and, and, and get a project going. Absolutely. So, so yes, we have David's number. And David is, uh, is, is the vinyl. Guru, 50 years in the game. I'm sure that if anything can be done with our printing processes, whether it be sublimation, whether you're doing cutting, or if you have the solvent printer, there are several solutions here in vinyl. And y'all know if I get excited about anything with vinyl, it's a good thing because I kind of swore away vinyl for, for a little while just because of the, um, the, the time it takes to do things. But now it's coming back into play because there's so many versatile things you can do with it. So I love that we can come in and out of industries and combine what we know and um, create something new. Yep. Thank you, David. We appreciate your love. And we got your car here. Have a great day. I know this is the last day of the expo, right? Yeah. Have we worn you out yet? No, you're good.
that's how with Sam Mar, if they'll have me.
like the day that I sublimated it. Otherwise, you know, this this is it. This, it does not peel. I don't get those little balls on this, but my jersey shirts, I get balls. Like this is a, a Gildan 420. I will eventually get balls on this. It gets fuzzy because it is it, it meant, it's meant to mimic cotton. So it's a, it's a spun polyester. It's not a continuous fiber, okay? So you gotta consider those things. Like if you don't like the shiny look of polyester, products that don't have that shiny look, but don't necessarily have the cotton feel, I think that would be something very unique. This fabric, I think it's good. It, it's smooth, it, it, it's something that you do because uh, the tight knit allows you not to see all of those, all of the rough surfaces. Like, yeah, like a, a polo when you have a right. bikini, you would have, you gotta have a jersey dish for it to uh, really pretty. Right. And this, um, this particular fabric, is the same one that y'all use for hoodies. Um, also, you yeah, know, I do like you guys. We have sweatpants too. Right. Now, I think y'all carry ladies. Check for me. If y'all have a white sweatpant, I guarantee yeah. I can get people online right now to see back. Please hold. And sometimes there'll be like things available in the ladies cut for white, but not necessarily for me. So see, now we might be able to bring you a piece of maybe white sweat. I don't know why it's not coming out. It's okay, take your time. You can find it, I guarantee you. <laughs> You'll see some sales online today. I 
if you want to come around and show them the, the screen there, because they can look at how to have the CMR website set up. Yeah, we, we do not have it in white for men, only for ladies. Right. So and we just discontinued that white white on white. And just because the, the if the sublimation community, that's the um that's my jacket that I have on right now. We just discontinued the color. No, it is because the sublimation community doesn't know about it more than likely. Yeah, sorry. So let me let me go uh, talk to Cut. corporate. <laughs> Cut. Cut. Is the jacket still available though? No, yeah. we don't have any stock. Oh no, the, that's not the one that I have. The one that I have is the ST. No, it's it's a lady. It's the LST. I'm sorry. It's the LST. It's not the Trico. This is um, they have the men's version as well. It's not Trico. So we're you looking your, active wear. You do probably performance. And then just put the color white. That's how I really find stuff. I go for the color white, and not very many products are gonna be white and polyester. No white. It's oh. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Gotta go Honestly, it should. If you if you sort it by most expensive to least expensive, it's gonna be more of your least uh, most expensive. Cause sometimes it's in fleets and sometimes it's in. See, I don't find it that way. Uh, it says just, LST. Yeah, just just something. sort it. Go to the top and sort it by price. Yeah, I'm trying to get outerwear, but they brought in all the yeah. T-shirts. Uh, scroll up where it says relevance and do, um, and do price high to low. Are y'all busy? There we go. Okay, so that's the quarter zip I was telling y'all about. That quarter zip right there is lightweight. I wear it in the summertime and it's good for protecting your skin from the um, from the sun. That right there the supplement beautifully. Um, mm -hmm. That's a good one. So that's the white white one. Yeah, and, and exactly, that's the one. Oh, yeah. And it has like the little holes if you're a runner and like thumb holes there. So that is a thinner. It's not actually too small. If you go back and set these, I think I saw the jacket. Usually the lady was right next to me. So this is, that's a quarter zip. Wait a minute. Where did you pull a zip? I thought we can do um, Go to the fleece. Instead of going to activewear, go to products and go to sweatshirt fleece. And then. Um, just, just go to sweatshirt and just the main category and then put in uh, white and polyester and then that way y'all will see the hoodies and the, uh, the full zip. Hey, here we go. Oh, you're talking about this one? That's the men's version. They have the ladies and they have the kids' version. Yeah. See, that's the ladies' version. I like the ladies' cut. Yeah. But I also get the men's version if I want a little bag here. Look at that, y'all. They have the short sleeve hoodies. I remember when y'all didn't have these, and a basketball team was asking for those. Start marketing these right now. The basketball teams love those because they're like cover ups, but they're not long sleeve. And here comes the ladies. Please hold. That's it. So that's the one I have right here. That's that's my favorite little jacket. It's lightweight. I can wear it, you know, when it's cool. It also it has a little. It's fleece lined, but it's not thick fleece. It's a it's a very thin fleece. But that's the one right there. Y'all been asking me where I got that jacket from. That's it. You got it. Samar, I'm telling you, Sport Tech. Whatever that number? that product number is. Uh, S L yeah. S T two forty one. And then the men's version would be ST, and I think the youth version would be YST, right? Correct. And then you can go when you when you check the inventory, it'll say companion, so it'll it'll have a drop down once you actually right check down the inventory. Here, all the uh huh. Don't have all of them, but we, we push that, and then you can get them. Right. And then if you actually have a um, have an account with Sanmar, you'll you'll be able to check the inventory. You can see, okay, in Jacksonville they have this much, and uh, it'll tell you your um your locations for those products too. We don't need to look at it right now. <laughs> oh. we, we might get them ramped up. And, but, but this is good because you get to see from a collaborative. Uh, yeah. No, this is great. Can I turn red? Tax 
outside the resale life. Yes. And if you don't have these, y'all let me know. Uh, we over here, y'all let me know. And that is something that we'll start bringing to the channel to show you in your respective states. Just, just go and do it. it. It's not that hard. Now, what you do have to do is you have to start reporting every quarter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, they the they need to fill out and then uh, uh, tax ID and resale license you need. And once you send that in, it's about two to four days. Business days. Okay, so that's good, good stuff. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Uh, Rich. Thank you. Thank you for giving us. Look at his laughing out there. Take a picture of him. Oh, yeah. That's a regional manager of Texas. <laughs> Stop deflecting my voice. Oh, yeah? Well, they, well, we appreciate CMR is one of our, um, you know, our most trusted suppliers for, for our common dust rates. And we appreciate the Fort Tech brand because we work a lot with Southern Nations. And it's hard for us to find dust rates in the same way. Well, so Y'all make such a great quality product. That's what I'm saying. Some of the stuff that is being discontinued might actually need to be brought back if we get enough of the Southern Nation community to recognize that it exists because those type of products that people didn't know existed in the community. Thank you. Thank you. Is that true colors, me? <laughs> Thank you so much, Jamie. We appreciate y'all, y'all. Go back. 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 Go He said another t-shirt place was this way? Another what? Then he said a t-shirt company was this oh, no. way? I already told him. He, he oh. asked us to actually come to him in Atlantic City because he's going to do a special presentation for us. So that is um, AWD, all we do is. Okay. Um, they have some really cool substrates that I want to show off for you all. But we're going to wait till we go to New Jersey okay. because uh, he's going to show us some, some stuff that he didn't even bring to this one. So that was, that was a cool connection to make. All right, what is this? What is this? Maybe there's even some GTG going on here. Let's see, Roland. What is Roland? Roll it, roll it, roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Hey, what's going on over here? Do y'all know anything? Yeah. Well, it's just an excellent opportunity. We're really nice. I promise we don't bite, and we might even we might even keep customers that bite and we have to sell. So I can't promise we don't bite. Um, what, what, what is this process over here? What are we looking at? Uh, lamination table, application, vinyl, um, application tape, great tape. Oh, and this is a back end table? Oh yeah. I love that. What we're doing is taking the prints off the HP printer. Uh huh. And then you have two different uh, setups, so you can still be printing on the bed while you're doing it. Right. So I find that I'm not necessarily following the solution to this device. So this device is what you So that is the release liner that you're peeling back right now. I love this contraption here. I've done this manually so many times that I got out of vinyl just because I had to do this manually. You can see the crease right here. Uh huh. Right top the roller right before. Uh huh. And uh, you come on this side so you can see a little more of what's going on on this side. Fold this over so our prints don't hit the ground. Peel back the slider and start walking it. And notice the way I stop where right here on this black, 
if you're laminating on this, that would ruin the print. But we're going to look at it after I finish washing this. Oh yeah, this roller, roller's magic. Keeps the substrate straight. Keeps the substrate. Um, no movement, no nothing. Yeah, on the UV print, you can actually see the letters under here because I've been just doing print after print on this thing all day. See where I stopped on this glove? You definitely see the line there. No lines, no nothing. Lamination's the exact same process. Now, what material was that? A, 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 a Orcal branded lemon? Uh, what? General what, formulations, yeah. Oh. Is that, is that, this is your brand? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, a table. 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 Oh, okay. Table. But this is, this is a great concept. And being back with, you can see underneath when you're layering things. And if you're mounting to acrylic, you'll see any debris on the clear acrylic before you put it permanently on the ground. Because <laughs> when you got these transfer tapes, you always have to have someone squeaking afterwards because you're going to get bubbles and all that. Not with this. What we're going to do. So, if you ever weeded the cotton letters and the vinyl, uh -huh. and you have to put this paper tape on it, right, right. go fast. This is exactly why I got out of time. I didn't have the, uh, the, the budget to do the little frame. Try to line this up. Yeah, you said, all right, I'll just put my hand. Once this is on here, you can Um, electric or is it or so this is electric this model is we our older models are all pneumatic you have an air compressor that tucks right. under the table but no this is an electric roller uh you just see a 110 outlet just put a regular three prong in there i mean powers the lights powers the roller oh yeah no it's got the self healing cutting rounder here you can trim or feed anything out that you need no it's great this, this would actually make it worth it to get back into it. Like, the stickers and, and, and yeah. It takes a three man specialized job, right. and then your secretary can do it, your kids can do it. Right. You can get them on the market because the application is for them. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's in case for itself in a year. Like, just time it up. No, this one's $18,000. What? Yep. And then our older model is the pneumatic one, that's 13. Really? Is it available in the U.S.? Do you have to wait for the manufacturing ship? Or is it available in the U.S.? Oh, yeah. No, I'm just... Warehouse locations, L.A. I'm the install guy. I fly around full time and build really? these things, yep. Are y'all going to be able to install it? Are we going to install it? Are we going to install it? Are we going to install it? Okay, yeah. So, so, we're going to be here. Awesome. And our next big show is going to be there. ISA show. Okay, that one, yeah, that, now that, that one y'all are going to do. We all have multiple right. units here. We're also right. sponsoring the wrap contest. We'll have a 50 by 60 version. We'll have digital cutters, routers, whatever. They've got both of them. That's going to be fun. And I'm looking, to be looking, for, I'm looking forward to seeing y'all that one.
certainly good entry level, but we do have the calendar in person. We also offer that are in the $30,000 range right. with the big clothing store. Yes. And we also sell the Dyson Dimension Monopoly. Really? And we'll have that set up at the end. That's cool. And then we do, we do a lot of things like Right. 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 There we go. So thank you, Cal and Mike. Mike. Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> thank it's you. a pleasure meeting y'all. Absolutely. Likewise. So hopefully, if y'all get some people that come your way, you know, right, from yeah. the YouTube. Y'all have a good one, okay? Thank you. Thank you. So this is a latex printer. So this is uh, when you're looking for permanent printing solutions. You're talking about, um, you know, doing outdoor signs, banners, those great things that are usually done on a solvent or a latex printer. So this is what he was saying about latex, and then they go laminate it on the other table. Uh, this is actually an HP latex printer. And um, this is what he was saying is doing the job of uh, this is the machine that does both. So this machine will print onto directly onto the substrate. Is that correct? Okay. So what he was showing us was that there's another printer that will print on the vinyl, and then you can laminate it onto the hard substrate. This one is printing directly flatbed on that substrate. So when he was saying there are two machines that you can use to do the process, or you can have a single machine here, that's um, that's the option there. Now, uh, how long does this thing, will, will it take to print the whole 4 by 8 board here? Um, it's rated at 12 4 by 8s an hour. 12 4 by 8s an hour. So that's that's productivity there. Absolutely. And is this, this laying ink down all the way? Like from, from edge to edge? Oh, look at that. That's, that's some examples of what it was created over here. So that is, what, what is that process called? Is it latex printing? Is it solvent? Right, be careful. You be careful. So, so it's being cured, yeah, so you don't need to It's immediately cured with the UV lamps. And there, you can adjust the intensity on the lamps too. So if you have thinner product or right. plastic, you can dial back the intensity of the lamp. And then it's liquid cooled as well. Right. So that keeps the life of the lamps longer as well. Gotcha. Now, what um, what type of uh, setup is required? Does it require a special type of electrical? Um, Two, okay, but it's just a single phase, so that's uh, you know, pretty good. Too. Now, what is the cost of this? So it, it'll start out with a two print head system. Mm -hmm. So you can you can add print heads as your business grows. Right. So two head print heads. Sure. Print system starts at seventy five to nine ninety five. Right. But this, this is outdoor quality. This is you know what, what's the, what's the um, the standard like? I, I don't know what the substrate is here, but what's that standard outdoor light for a UV printed product? So the ink durability is a two year graphic outdoor durability without lamination. Right. Outdoors is always recommended. Of course. Now does the system allow you to do the lamination, or do you have to laminate on a different? You have to laminate separately. There's a, um, there's actually a CWT unit in there where you can laminate. That's really easy to use. There's also companies that make liquid lamps. You can laminate them and you can laminate them. By the ease of that, the cost of that. Yeah, I saw it. I thought it was very innovative. Yeah. I remember doing that process manually. And I had 
Let's see. What do y'all want to see? Let's yeah. Let's go down this way. They have JDS down here for social okay, sublimation. Yes. JDS. Well, I'll, I'll wait to talk to JDS. Um, yeah. Is she? They went out that door over there, I don't know. texture so y'all look at this this is um is it called debossing what is this process yeah emboss it's raised texture uh-huh so it's like an emboss but it has the color input into those areas so this is a way to make products stand out now what what is a system like this what are the what is the limitations uh, of it uh -huh. 20. okay you can go up six inches tall so we're doing jewelry boxes cigar right. hidden doors right. anything that's under six inches it also does a tumbler same machine, right? Doing all this stuff. Now, does it have to rotate that? Yep. yep. There's a rotary device that rotates. Uh huh. Where is that is, at? Is it full color or is it like it's certain color. certain it's colors? As as you want to oh print. wow! Y'all know I love colors. And this is uh, like a holographic finish here. So when it oil. when it doesn't print color, it lets the holographic. Do, but we still put gloss over it, uh -huh. which makes it look like a magnifying glass. Right. It makes it come out. That is interesting. Very interesting. Pretty cool, ain't it? Yeah. So is this clear here? It is just clear, awesome. clear over top of the mat. Right. Now, what um, what is a system like this primarily uh, purchased for? Like what type uh, of? This industry? one, uh, it's really all kinds of stuff. I got people doing wedding. Wedding products. Uh -huh. I got people printing on puppy dog tags, Christmas right. ornaments, right. name badges. Gotcha. Is it primarily uh, like hard substrate? Uh, this one depends what ink. This is the hard ink. Uh -huh. uh, we 
Are you can switch out to a different ink in it? Yeah, not really. I mean, I can because I'm a technician, but right, it's not something right. you do for a job. Gotcha. If you want to, if you're doing leather, you have to it doesn't matter. Right, right. What? You got to roll with the dog. So what, um, we're currently our primary process is uh, sublimation for most of the things that we do. And then we're getting into well, laser engraving and 3D printing in, in different industries. So what, what is this kind of... Uh, this one can do all that. Really? It can do everything laser can do. Uh -huh. It can do everything the sublimation can do. But you don't, you can, you can give it all that and just do everything on one machine. Well, Not that you need to, but yeah, you could. Yeah, that, like if they want a laser, if they want a frosted glass look, I got white ink. I can mix a little bit of white and a little bit of clear and give uh -huh. it a frosted glass. Mm -hmm. But what I can do with what they do, I can make it pink frosted glass. Right, right. So instead of it just being white, like all the laser stuff, it's all single color. Everything we do, it can be single color or it can be amazing. Right. Yeah. As you can see, we're all about color. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what... Uh, that was a picture we took at the, at the hotel in Vegas. We just looked at the oh, picture wow. and printed it right on there. Is that same holographic material? We it, made the rust. We printed it. Right. And, oh, wow. That, so so this relief was actually done with it's the material. That, but you know what? This is becoming really popular to have dimensional products because, you know, the more you can do to stand out, the easier it is for people to remember you. Y'all want to learn September. Uh -huh. This is our name. It's all UV printing. It's nothing but UV print oh, wow. applications. Now, will this also be online? Uh, or is it no, just, it's in, just person. in person? Check that out. That's neat stuff right there. Now, do you do anything with uh, like so photographs and? Um, yeah, I think so. As soon as it's over, that's what I'm gonna print. Oh, okay. I'm gonna print this baby too. And do you also produce the substrates and materials, or is these materials that you use? You can get them anywhere. Johnson's, their uh -huh. has them. Uh, the raw material, all substrate related. But you don't have to have kind of like you guys. When y'all buy, you gotta buy sublimation blanks to sublimate them. Right. This one, I can go to Home Depot and get a whole skid of 12 by 12 ceramic tiles and print on them. I don't have that special treated material. Well, so it's fabric or hard substrate? It's not really for shirts. Oh, okay. It just, okay, all uh hard. -huh. It's mirror acrylic. This is really big in the way it is. Cake toppers. Right. You cut it and print on it. Then you have to okay, put it on the material it. on the contour. So it's sublimation so for hard substrate. Oh, you would need a laser. Right, right. A laser for that. Now, what, what is uh, what is the cost of doing this? Uh, what is the cost of doing this? What is the cost of doing this? Some of the ways that I think you all will start thinking about this is the, you know, when we're doing the mega mock-ups and the products that go with things, like you mentioned, the cake toppers and um, just different subjects. Now you can imagine adding those add-ons. Once you design something in one place, being able to apply these things in, on different substrates and different processes, is, is, this is major. So sometimes it's coming out here and knowing that this exists, gets your mind going, well, you know what? Well, maybe we can um, we can offer those custom cake toppers now, or we can you can do photographic cake toppers that are literally metallic looking. Like that would be something we couldn't have thought of unless we saw this type of equipment in action. So, like I said, I, I, I love that, that we can be able to, to see this. Uh huh. Oh, but so really directly printing so rocks. Drum heads. This machine has a that's, a that's the bottom of the glass. So you drink it, you're looking through the logo. Oh, um, not how that one printed on the bottom of the glass or yeah, inside. Print it on the bottom. Just flip it over and print right on. Gotcha. Now, how does it do with those like boxy 3D type of surfaces? How does that work? It has a spray dots. 
a long distance. So it can be known when it's kind of dropping uh, the surface. That's interesting. Hey, you're, you're a pretty with a fish. I saw those with every decoration. So the, the fish turned out the blank, and it was able to see the 3D contour of that. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. That's a picture of a real fish that we did wow. on top of the uh, I dropped my uh, hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Really? Now, when you do these type of items, you have to have the substrate in a 3D format file so that it's going to know where to print on this. No, the file is going to be flat. Right. Adobe or Corel, whatever design software you use. And then it sprays it down so it can wrap around the uh, cups are on a little rotary device. It rotates like Yeah, don't, don't let me get y'all in trouble. Yeah, so it's got to be right. flat. It's not just working. Right. So these are the get boxes, custom get boxes. Uh -huh. And what type of thing that's mm. sort of stuff. And it, and it has a nice texture effect to it. Some of my, my best cars that I've never given out are my patent metallic cars. Um, I had a car that okay. had uh, spot UV where it had the UV. Uh, you go to Laura. Settings. 
Okay, Nessa, if you're online, let me know. Let me turn the camera back. And I'll be right, because if we can get Nessa oh. on, huh? How you doing? Yes. You doing the selfie mode? If we can get Nessa on, then I want to talk to her next one. All right, Nessa, if you're on, let me know. But um, this is my entertainment. I'm going to go over there to the house. Um, Nessa, 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 if you're online, Nessa. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I am back. Well, I thought I was. I guess it don't. Let's see. I wasn't ready. Time change tonight. Time change for who? Lose an hour. Shut up! Hour. Really? They were um serious. I wasn't ready. Yeah, I was ready. Was it spring back or spring up? Uh. Uh -huh. Check that out, y'all. We lose the hour. I guess we got to set our time back. Up. Up. Up, back. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So who do we all have on here? We have 30 people watching. Good old 30 people. I should have brought my charger. I know that, right? Dang. We all have bad. For everyone that is in, uh, message me. Uh, whoa. <laughs> you talking about me? Yeah. <laughs> whoa. Yeah. So if you guys message me, I'll get to them. If I don't, no way. 
So we have 30 eyes. Who's lurking? Who's watching? What y'all doing? I had to take a break. Like, right? Right. But, um... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who live in, um... The Dallas, Texas area, let us know what's some good places to eat at. Because I had, uh, what is face? What's that? Uh, I had uh, that uh, brisket. Oh, that brisket was thick. Almost choked. It. Horrible. Almost choked. No, I can't see your comment. I don't know why we can't see comments. Um, let's see. No, I can't see it. Um, oops. What did I do? I did something. Um, well, if we had an amber alert, so we it might have had uh, moved or something. I know it messed up something. Oh, I can't see. Let's see. Let me go on YouTube myself and see. Oh, I can't see. Let's see. Let me go on YouTube myself. Oh, no. Uh, Oh, okay. So I guess you guys can see now. Okay, so it says my sister stayed there. I can call her. Is Shannon doing her thing in Indy? That I don't know. Um, Elba. And really any kind of food to taste, you know. If they got some African food. No. What we mostly eat, chicken, seafood. Uh, I heard they don't have no uh, good barbecue spots. I already heard that already. So, no. So, um, okay. Now I can see a comment. Okay. You look, we talking about food. Oh, yeah. Is it that time already? I try not to think about food until I stop rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. You look so beautiful, Shannon. Hey, thank you. You too, my baby. Ooh. I'm glad that we out. We out here stepping in the name of love, of, of uh, showing y'all all these <laughs> Lord knows. We out you. Okay, so a question is will you be doing? So I am thinking about doing any, I, I really am. I need to, the, the whole point of me coming out is really to uh, give you all opportunity to do some hands on as well. So if we can coordinate it to where that works out, I am considering it. That is the one I think that he said, uh, we'll also do car wraps. So anybody interested in car wraps, that's something that I think we're going to start highlighting that your Photoshop skills um, and illustrator skills could really take you to another industry. Okay? So, let's discuss that. Let's see how many people want to come out, Elva. All right. All right. So, that answered that question. Now, there. did we get a chance to see, is, is it Nessa? Oh. Um, Nessa? I think she uh, she might have Facebook message me to see her. Hey, Shirley. 
I didn't realize there's Shirley in there. Okay. So can you um, can you copy and paste the StreamYard link to Nessa so she can come on with us? Oh, now how you how you get the link? You gotta go. Now you're gonna send it to her on my thing, so you go more. Sorry, I get my big old finger all in the way. And then oh, I, I can't. I feel like I gotta lean off. Get all lean on, on me. me. Okay, let's see. StreamYard. I should be able to. Oh, guest. Invite a guest. Copy the clipboard. And then it's gonna go away for a second, but I think we're still gonna be here. Let's go to. You can send it to me. Text it I was just. Me. I was just gonna. I think. She Um, Nessa, I don't know if you can hear me, baby. Uh, you have to go to the StreamYard link either on your computer, you can do it that way, or you can go through um, through your Safari if you have an iPhone. I think you can use Google if you don't have an iPhone. <laughs> so if you can come on, on the, that would be great. I really, I have a special surprise for you <laughs> and how we're going to do this whole scholarship thing from here on out. I want to hear your input as well. And just the places that you all want to go, what you all want to see. Um, we've been walking around and talking. There are some DTF folks here. So if y'all want to check out a DTF before we leave, I will absolutely do that. I know we did DTF last time and some of the same companies are here. But if y'all want to see a different company, then I got you. And while we're here, what do y'all want to do for hands-on? Because right now, the hands-on class is like the one we're teaching tomorrow. You're going to learn how to use your 13-inch printer. Or, of course, if you have a 24 or 8.5-inch printer, you're going to learn how to use that printer to do all-over designs. So we're going to do that process. We're going to do the, the split template. We're going to do the, the taping the sheets together. Um, we're going to use the buddy system. Um, but you can also, of course, if you're at home and you don't have a buddy system yet, um, you can use the hard board, but we're going to show you, show you why the buddy system solves a lot of those problems y'all are getting with the hard board. So um, what else do y'all want to see? We're showing you how to do the bling with the sublimation. Coach E showing you that. Um, Coach Corey is doing the split template. Um, we're also, oh, you also get a chance to, to work with a large format print. So the coaches that have the large format printers also sell large format prints. So you'll get a chance to see, okay, here's the difference between pressing an all-over print versus, oh, Ben Tracy, you got the large format printer, right? Yep, yep. So uh, so a lot of the coaches already have the large format printers. Uh, Coach Grant Teresa has the Epson large format printer, so they can do the large format prints for you. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to establish this network where anything that you want to do, that you could do it at the level that you are right now. And if, if, of course, if you get to selling 300 prints uh, in a month and you're like, you know what? That could be money that would pay for my printer. So now I'm gonna advance, I'm gonna get a printer and um, and we can sell you the ink. So we basically, you're not ever our competition. You're always complimentary to us. And that's why education is important so that we understand how we can work with you and meet you at yet all day. Okay, let's see, thick, rich. Oh, Chrissy said, oh, is that about the food? Yeah. <laughs> um, seafood. Oh, seafood, you can't go wrong. Well, Ugh. the can is bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's good seafood, you know, you can eat seafood almost every day if it's good. She said she's coming. <laughs> All right. So let me see, uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to see what comments have been going on here. Because, I, you know, I've, I've been talking. I haven't been paying no attention to y'all. Let me see. I love y'all, though. Let's see. You're so pretty in person. 
Not that you're ugly online. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you're trying to say my bun no, don't be No, but I'm saying. Right. <laughs> you know, you come in oh. there with the tie and you go in the room and get this. Yeah. Out of the way. I wasn't expecting this. It's like, yeah. Why, well, thank you, y'all. Y'all look so sweet. Y'all got me blushing and whatnot. And the eyebrows is perfect in the water. Child, I want to get my layer mask and just lay them. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Look, look, listen. I got a. I got a. <laughs> What's up, Javita? Hey, love. Okay, so um, I think that. Um, oh, oh we, we might have you in here. Nessie! Hold on, I'm inviting you in, baby. Let's see. How do I get you? Add the stream. We might have you in here. So oh, let me turn this this Nessie! way. This way. Okay, so I'm doing my hair. So I'm sorry, I look like no, this. baby, don't, don't, don't. You do not have to apologize. Okay, so apologize. do me a favor though. Do you have something okay, plain? So I'm doing video? my hair. So I'm I have sorry, a. Uh, I look like uh, this. No, baby, don't, don't. You do not have to apologize. Okay, so do me a favor though. It's like um. Okay, so I'm doing my hair. So I have a. I look like this. No, baby, don't. You do not have to apologize. Okay, so do me a favor though. You have something plain? It's like um. You hear that? That feedback? Are you are you playing it on YouTube or do you have a phone that's also online? Hold on, right my now? My phone was on it, but I took that? it off. Let me. Are you are you playing it? Yeah, on you might YouTube actually have to shut down the program. Phone if your phone was watching YouTube right now. My phone was on it, but I took it off. I did, so it's still with the echo though. You, you can still hear that. Do you have a tab open? Are you on the computer right now? On video with me? The computer. You have a tab open that has YouTube and the stream. Okay, let me see. Yeah, close that YouTube. Have a tab open. Are you on the computer right now? Yeah, close it. The computer. You have a tab open that has YouTube. That's better. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see if I hear my country voice again. I didn't hear. No. Good. <laughs> so first, my name is Nisi. I was Nisi. I just like to be different. So I, when my dad spelled it, I changed it. And I love um, it. I have a cousin. Cousin, we used to call her Nisi growing up. And then she grew out of it. And now I get to call her that again. And my <laughs> name is Lenisa. Okay, Lenisa. Oh, okay, it's me. thank it's you. You know, I always, I always tell y'all to correct me if I say your name wrong. Because somebody it's put cool. Shannon with two ends. I'm like, uh-uh, I don't know who that is. That's not, that's not me. <laughs> I have one end in the middle. My daddy wanted me to be unique. Right. So right. <laughs> let's acknowledge. All right, Nisi, how are you feeling today? I am good. I, like I said, I was doing my hair. And anybody with this natural hair, no, baby, it's a, it's a task. Yes, so, well, it's, it's beautiful natural hair. So thank let, let's thank God for that. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure. I'm trying to turn this to the. Okay. Uh, okay. I want to be in the camera. Okay. Good. Well, you know, you know how when we move on the camera, like goes the opposite way. Right. So um, I, I got a chance to watch your reaction video last night, and I was so tickled. Like you had me crying because you were crying. You were excited. You. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, thank you, Snitch. <laughs> Granted, I never win anything. And you know, me, me and my girls were on a, a live chat. Well, we were on our chat. Uh -huh. At the same time, we were watching the video. So Bethany was like, I never win anything. I'm like, me either, girl. So hey, whoever wins, more power to them. So when Victoria wasn't there, I'm like, oh, next person. And then when you called my name, I said, oh, oh, that's <laughs> Listen, I woke up everybody in my house. My husband had to work today. And he was like, he came downstairs like, what the heck? Yeah, buddy, I just won. I just won. That so I had to explain awesome it. Mm -hmm. But I'm grateful. I am so grateful. Oh, my God. And I love your way of teaching. I love your your, your style, just everything about you. And it's it, it was just an honor for me to just, I'm like, I want, really? But I already had a subscription with your group. But I just got it. it when it was when you were like, okay, it's thirty seven dollars. Y'all better hurry up. Goes oh, back. But, but you got in good because it's yes. fifty now. <laughs> yes. So, anyways, I just wanted to personally say thank you, and oh, I'm so grateful. I really am, and I'm ready. I don't know Photoshop, but I'm I'm trying to learn it. So right. just watching, I even set up my workspace using your video. Yes. Right? And yes. I'm so excited. That's how I know you ready. You do bit. the baby step videos. You ready? Yes. Yes, so I just want to say thank you, and I'm ready. I'm ready to well, take my business I, to the next I, level. I know you're ready, Nessie. I'm not Nessie, Nisi. Lord, don't let me <laughs> don't let me call you uh, Nessie. I know you're gonna correct me. So, Nisi, <laughs> I know you're ready. Yeah. And I wanted to also add to the scholarship, okay? Because <clears throat> listen, wait. 
Hey. <laughs> she she ain't gonna let me do get too crazy. But if I if I start running and y'all see do 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 and then you see, you see me tackle down to the ground, you see the phone hanging this way, y'all know what happened. It's all gonna be live. Okay? Right. <laughs> I'm taking this one. Huh? You wanna take that? Now, yeah. what I'm going to do, for real, mm -hmm. you know how uh, those people, when they put something under their nose and they pass out, and I put that over <laughs> oh. her head. Oh, uh -huh. she, and she really had me take my jacket off. And I'm, like, I'm like, oh, what are we doing? Are we going to show my jacket? Like, no, we're going to put you under the dirt. <laughs> then she's going to pass out. It's gonna be, it's gonna Don't be make her pass out. out. She, she means no. well. <laughs> <laughs> on the live, y'all. On the live, right? What's going on? Okay, right. But listen, Nisi, this, this really opened my eyes to what the fellowship that I had did for me, and it's not just the fellowship; it was scholarships that I had all throughout college. Mm -hmm. And I realized that if it wasn't for, it wasn't just what somebody gave me or you know what I earned. It was mm -hmm. really the community that was surrounded around and the things that were set up for me to to win. Mm -hmm. And I started thinking about. Well, if I just, you know, if I gave somebody a laptop and a program, that's not really giving them all the steps to success. So what we're going to do with the scholarship uh, recipients, and you won't be the first, you won't be the last. I mean, you're the first, but you won't be the last. Um, we're also going to pick, you get to pick whichever location you want to go to, whether it be New Jersey. We're doing New Jersey in uh, two weeks. You could do that one. Um, you can come to Jacksonville, see me in Jacksonville. And then we have one in Atlanta in May. So my point is, I want whoever the scholarship recipient is to get some hands on with us so that you, you're you you're going to hit the ground running. You have no choice. Everybody's going to know you. They're going to be watching you. You know, it, it, it's not free because I know that it's going to take the work and you're going to do the work. OK, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's going to be a part of, of, of our scholarship setup. We want to make sure that you get to a hands on class, that you get to really uh, evolve, show us what you want to do. And then once you take it back home, we already know you're going to rock it out from there. Yes, so, I am. That's why I was like, if you get to come on live, I had a special, special, special treat for you. So um, you can let me know because I know you you know, you know, may have to make arrangements, and, you know, your uh -huh. schedule. Uh -huh. I'm eating hair over here. All right. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm so hungry I'm eating hair now. So um, so I want to make sure that, that, that you get that attention as well. Okay. okay. And then this, this is going to be a part of how we do this process. So I don't okay. know how often we're going to do it. I know it's definitely going to be for those who tune in live. So now, now y'all won't be scared to come on live and uh, you won't be scared to share because you know that it's going to be something great um, that we have in store for, for all of us. Okay. Okay. So uh, we'll get the details to you so you can help decide and we'll take care of the, um, the flight, the hotel, and it's also um, usually attached to the expo. So you can go to the expo with us, just like we're here right now. Awesome. I am. Yep. Oh, my God. I'm so grateful. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, oh. oh. I, I, and, and that's why I say you are deserving, baby. You are deserving. And I, I know we all are. And we're all like needing to see this type of thing happen for us. So mm -hmm. we know that it's not a possibility of winning. It is. It's a definite. It's already written. You're, you're okay. already winning just because you invest you invested in, in in the membership before you even got a chance to win this thing yeah that's you true. were I heard I heard you say that you had uh up, you were getting the upgrades to your computer uh -huh. just so you could run Photoshop yes right yes and then you said well now they can have that RAM back because I'm gonna have all that <laughs> I even got a new computer just so I can wow. design wow. and do everything and not even knowing how to work the program wow. yet but I'm like I'm determined and within myself I'm like I I gotta do this this is something I want, and this is something that I must do. So in my head, it's like, okay, this is what I need to do in order right. to succeed in this. So I was ready and willing to just do everything I needed to do. Right. So, and that was one of them. And, and when Bethany and I together made this decision, they're like, oh, I want to be in her group. So we were like, yeah, this is going to be awesome. So we were like, her delivery is awesome. It's just, I love it. So, you know, we were like, okay, and she was like, Nisi, you better hurry up because it goes up as soon as her life yeah, is over. Yeah. So I'm like, girl, let me get that in for $37. I'm like, I went off of the live just to go in, in and get the membership. But I am so grateful. I thank you. And I wanted to say this. I know the membership comes for a year for free, but I want to make sure 
that I'm still going to be locked in at my $37 price after my year was up. <laughs> well, I tell you what you're going to get, you're going to get the credit. So you'll get okay. a credit for the year's worth. And then what okay. happens is you'll still be locked in that price. And, and when that 12 months is up, you, look at you looking, thinking a year. Look, yeah. after this year right here, I, yes, sure I need, I need to make sure that. my price locked in. <laughs> <laughs> that means you're in it for the long haul. That's perfect. Yes. Look, it yes, ain't make you too mad. Look, mm -hmm. it ain't make you too mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ain't over the front. Oh, maybe we can't see your lips poke back because you got on the mask. <laughs> I love it. I love it, y'all. And um, like I said, I, I think that this is a great opportunity for us to show some progress. Show, you know, you, you're saying we're here, right here, right now, that you don't have the Photoshop background, but you have the determination. I don't. You already but I'll have it soon. Watch. Watch I, absolutely. Amen. Watch you me. got this. Mm -hmm. You got this. I got sure. it. For sure. But I don't want to hold up too much of your time today, okay. DC. We'll we'll get in touch and we'll see which one you want to come to. Okay. Uh, where are you located? What, what in, city in Homestead, Florida. So south of Miami. Oh, we, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm in Florida, too. But, but we might yes. have to come down to Miami. We're, we're actually supposed to be coming to Miami to learn how to wrap vehicles. Awesome. So I might be in your area. Yes, you I'll, I'll come to wherever you are. Just let me know when you're here. That's it. That's <laughs> as it. long as I we're not it. at competition, my girls are competitive cheerleaders. And this yep. is competition season, so as oh, long as you're you, not, are you? So you're not doing Photoshop uh, designs for the for the cheer teams and stuff. Girl, I don't know it yet. That's you know I'm we have a template that does the cheer bows, right? It what? automatically designs. Yes, uh, is it one twenty? Okay. He's gonna look it up for you. It's a template that designs the t-shirt, the socks, and the cheer bow Girl. at the same time. Yep, you are lying to me. Yes, and and I'm telling you, you show that to the moms. You're locked in. You're gonna have to no. I show that to the coaches. I'm locked in. Me and the coaches are friends. They're part of my hey, village. That, that's what's up. We're you, actually you doing a next. um a couples night tonight. So right. yeah, I need to tell them about this. <laughs> yep, and it, and it's already on the academy. And because you have your membership, then you'll be able to use your your discount if you want to purchase if you want to unlock it early. But mm -hmm. you know, all of the classes are gonna unlock. You know, the longer right. you stay there. But if you have a, a thing that that you need now. Your membership will be able to unlock it for ten dollars, and you'll be able to go ahead and use that template immediately. Right. And like I said, you don't even have to make stuff; you can just do a mock-up. And I mm -hmm. think the mock-up is included with that one because it has a custom cheer bow, mm -hmm. and it automatically mocks up the cheer bow. So awesome. when I tell you, we're giving you the tools. Yes. One forty-five. Okay. Class number one forty-five. Okay. Check that out, and I think okay. um, I think we may actually have someone that comes on and show y'all how to make the bows too. Wow. I did okay. a great fundraiser with the actual cheerleaders mm -hmm. um, and people sponsored the cheerleaders to come make their own bows. So I taught yes. them. Uh, we already had the design done. They sublimated their own cheer bows. They constructed oh, them wow. at the workshop and, and um, everybody sponsored each cheerleader a hundred dollars to come to the workshop. That's so awesome. of course the materials only cost about two dollars, not mm -hmm. even two dollars per, per kid that attended. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the idea was that they learned how to make something. Right. And they learn how to make something for their organization. And now you have a workforce of kids, yes. the ones that are really serious. They yes. can actually help you make these things when you get overwhelmed. Yes. So it's teaching them entrepreneurship. It's teaching them mm -hmm. how to assist and help you, which mm -hmm. that's the biggest thing in and this. One of my daughters are actually a coach, too. She's they had her coaching right. since she was like 13. And right. she's so awesome with it. And now she's graduated high school. She's going into, um, well, she just finished her. She went into EMT and firefighting uh -huh. academy. So she finished the EMT part. She has to do fire, but she's coaching too. So she'll, she'll help with it. Yeah, she'll that, love that. That's what I'm telling you. And it's just staying connected in the industry. And the biggest thing that we don't do as creatives, we don't, we, we kind of block our own blessings when it comes to growth because we want to have our hands on everything. Uh -huh. And you're going to need help. You're going to need to, yes. to delegate in order to grow. You're going to mm -hmm. have to delegate some of those responsibilities and trust that it's going to get done. And, right. and then that way you can focus on growing the business, marketing, yes. um, developing innovation so that you're the, the only one doing something in your area mm -hmm. um, and even online, you know, getting there and making sure that you have a presence. So right. we're going to go through all of this stuff. Like I, I'm really excited that this gets to be like a real, you know, case scenario where people can can watch you grow from the ground up and i'm glad you ain't nervous or anything i'm not i'm okay <laughs> i just i normally don't come on live looking a mess and i was like what time shannon want me on here because i need to get myself <laughs> together but i was like you know what when you were saying where is me where is nisi i'm like you know what let me just uh, okay hey i had it all pent up doing you see i'm already pushing up the back okay, you, you girl i was looking a mess on these lives <laughs> You see my, my bun is be bunning. It don't be concerned about nobody. But I had to learn this too. And and, and I, I, I say this message all the time. The world doesn't need you when you're perfect. The world needs you now. Because your yeah. moment is always in the now. Amen. Your moment is always in the now. And you live Amen. that way. You create that way. 
and you you know kind of project that with other people and mm -hmm. you'll start to see that that your blessings happen now you don't think about your yeah. blessings in the future or in the past no. you're thinking about the blessings that you're receiving right here right, right now, now because you're creating yes. them right here right now absolutely absolutely so so you know we, we get on here look, look in a hot mess we might even say it one time by the time we get to talking we forget right they forget <laughs> i told you my my biggest videos when i was barefoot in the kitchen at the heat press making videos and i was like you know what I, I would have never started that um, if I didn't get over myself and just say, these people just want to learn. They don't, they don't care. They don't care how you look. They don't right. Care. Right. And I think it makes it more believable, too, because you get to see the progress. You've got to mm -hmm. see, you know, started from the bottom. Now I'm here. Right. And, and where we're taking it next. Yes. So, so you're good, baby. And I and I, I really I know that you will not you will not be shy. You put. Oh, no, put, I'm not shy you, you got at all. going on out there. I'm not and shy folks at all. are going to love it, too. <laughs> so and i appreciate uh auntie ashley too yes she, girl. you know her her coming through and we um, need to change her name because you know ashley's not that old ashley's in her 30s Ashley's like yeah. 35 36 you know what i think i think the term auntie is like that in different like basically i'm 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 auntie well, I, me I too think, yeah <laughs> and people call me miss shannon that are older than me even when i was yeah. a little girl they would call me yeah. miss shannon i was like mm -hmm. what is that it's just a term of endearment like oh you yeah. have wisdom you have something yes. to offer the community you have yes. you your community based like you care about the those around you and mm -hmm. that's that, that that's that auntie i think she 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 really does embody that and she has a very unique way of expressing it and i love mm -hmm. that too yes i really do i love the genuineness of it and yes. i wouldn't change her for nothing right um, absolutely it's, not you know it, it's real so, so I uh, want to uh, say before we get off, uh -huh. because they might be watching, I want to say thank you to the snitch. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go ahead and thank the, the snitch. Open up all kind of opportunities. Huh? All kind of opportunities. Like I mean, <laughs> it, it's it's just God, really. I I just really believe that it's God. I really do. I really do. Go. It was See? meant to happen this way, and right. I thank God it happened like this. And I'm listen. Like I said, I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna continue to say it. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Amen. That's and all that, I gotta that, say. I'm that, grateful. When you live a, if gratitude is the attitude, that's the best attitude to have. Amen. Yes. So, I'm I, I, like I said, this it's only up from here. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure I got a chance to see you, see you live, see that smile in person. Yes. Let you know that I thank you. You know, for 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 participating. You were already winning when you invested in yourself. Yes. That's what I want everybody to know. I'm doing these lives and I do these 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 prizes, and I'm not. Like if the goal is not oh just increase sales. The goal is to let you know you already won because every time I tell y'all to do something, share a video, share information, yeah. uh, purchase a class for five dollars that that made Coach Chrissy thirty thousand dollars in one graduation season. Mm -hmm. You're already winning because you participated and you invested in yourself and you're invested in your education. That's it. That's the win, right? Absolutely. So when you say you know I never really win anything, you were already winning. You just didn't know it yet. I didn't. I didn't even see it winning. that way. I didn't even see it that way. I'm like, ah, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll do a scratch off or anything. I never win. Ah, uh, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm not. But when when you called my name, I was like, did she say, hold up? <laughs> Everybody say it, especially Hispanic people. They'll say Lanessa. So I'm like, that's me though. That's me. She's talking to me. She's talking to me. And we were just we were on that chat, and Bethany started recording it, and she was like, I'm gonna have to edit this. I'm yeah, like, girl. Yeah, I heard that too. But but you know, it was so genuine. I love it. I love it. Yes. I love it. anytime somebody can can be true to themselves and exactly. actually it, it sells. Yes. Like I said, you do things with passion and purpose, the profit will follow. Exactly. So that's it. Yeah. You got it, baby. Thank you. All right. Well, um, I'll I'll let you get the rest of your day on. Like okay. I said, your hair is beautiful anyway, but whatever you say you got to do to no, it, girl, go ahead and handle business. To this hair. It has no <laughs> definition right now. You got but it. Thank baby. you so much. You're and welcome. you all have a blessed day. You too, Nisi. Bye, okay. baby. Bye. Bye, Nessa. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Erica! You, you see, Erica, Erica got to find a way to mess with you. Get right. to the core. <laughs> well, thank you, too, boo. <laughs> see y'all later. All right. Bye, y'all. All right. All right. Um, uh oh. What's she talking I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nisi. I, I took it off. And I think you were saying something in the background. So just say it in the, in the comments because I think I already shut it down. Okay, so uh, if there's anything that y'all want to see while we're here, this thing is about to close up. What time is it now? 2.30. Okay. What time? I think we end at, uh, it ends at 3. So this is it. This is the, the end of the hour. This is the last call for uh, 
or you know graphics i guess um so y'all let me know if, if there's one i think we have time to show you one more thing before things shut down okay so y'all all excited nisa got me all grinning and stuff i i love seeing people who are genuinely you know in, in their spirit in their element just ready to work for themselves like that's that's major all right, so one more thing y'all want to see is a GTF. Um, like I said, I didn't really see sublimation out here like that. Uh, we saw sign printing. But what is what is uh, GTS? Are they printing on hard substrates? I think they're printing on hard substrates. Let's see if we can find something that is fabric related, okay? So I'm just going to walk y'all around with me and it'll be like roulette. Wherever we stop is where we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm getting old. And hopefully you all coming tomorrow. Y'all are ready to do some work. I see a lot of people register for New Jersey. I didn't know Jersey was ready for us, but I see y'all ready. But you getting, getting your phone together. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to find one more thing and then we're going to, did y'all already find something to eat or y'all? Still want to look. Fine. What we gonna find? What we gonna find? We in dry Texas now. <laughs> <laughs> what they, they? Oh, he call he calling the food over here dry in Texas. Y'all better y'all better help us figure out a way to, uh, to prove it wrong. Cause one thing about it, if she wrong, she might not she might not want to admit it, but she will admit when she wrong. So let's find us some good food in Texas. Uh, yeah. Just so, hold on, y'all. Get it together. You really did. I was like, what's she gonna do with my jacket? <laughs> you really use my jacket to exemplify. Yeah. Taking mm -hmm. my behind down. Yes. Is that yes, how, is that how they do it in the shy? <laughs> Y'all. Oh. Er Erica's showing us a side right now. We, we shoot. Listen. Hey, don't mess with me. Listen. <laughs> Y'all might not want to mess with me. She talking about uh <laughs> get a little thing where she done pulled out a demonstration of a napkin and all. <laughs> Hey, put that up underneath your nose and you what, what, what is that? I ain't even finna say it out loud. You tell you two might ban me if I say the name of that chemical. Ooh. All right, so um can you you mind holding the phone for me? Or you might have to switch it around or whatever. Yeah. Ooh. And then you probably see the comments. So let's see. Yeah. Because we hungry and we can only stop one place. Uh, we already checked out Cobra Flex. Uh, so we have 37 people watching and only 12 likes. Hmm. Let me see who those 12 people is. Let's see. Let me get out my phone. Because you know I can see who liked the video, right? Mm -hmm. Do y'all want a screen break? Do we want a screen? Now, this, this won't be the one. But people want to know um, how screen printing is done, and usually we order the plastic all transfers. But it looks like they're demonstrating and will let us screen print. Mm. Well, you going on over there since that let used to be see. your thing. Child, it's been a while since I've worked a squeegee. Not a squeegee. That's what they call. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, not a squeegee. That is correct. That's the 24 inch model. We also make sure the series is a 15 inch model. Look at the screen. Pretty eagle screen. Thank you. Oh, can I make me a shirt? Absolutely. What, what size you wear? I want a two eggs. I want a two eggs. Don't look. Don't be trying to get on my look. You gotta hold a camera, so I gotta do it. 
<laughs> I'm finna, hey, y'all, I'm finna screen print. Hey, mm -hmm. how you doing? You got it. Yes, I'm ready. That 2X looks small. I know it does, doesn't it? But yeah, it's, it, it is 2X though, I promise. Can I screen print too? Absolutely. Ooh. He finna screen print. Wow. We finna screen print. What you like, girl, bad? You about to do it? Yeah, yeah. we about to do it. Uh, Are you gonna do it? Yeah. Okay, right, I see you doing the bank back here now. Around, you don't want that to get me and everything like that. Hey, you better whip it, whip it. Make sure that that angle, keep your good pressure on there, slide it on back. Good job. One more time. Let's do it one more time. Okay. Right about there. I was there. Yeah. Put it right there. Do it again. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. When you do this, you put the squeegee up because you never want that to fall down. Oh. Yep, sorry. All right. So what good kind job. Of that's what we want. Oh, okay, okay, cool. I can make me a tech. I'm making a Texas shirt. Okay, yes, okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, you are. Okay, so now we're going to love it. Love it. All right. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Go ahead. Go to town. Not go to town. One more pass. One more pass. One more pass. Right there. Go for it. Excellent. All righty. Cooking with grease right now. Let's do this. With grease. There you go. Told you. You're doing just fine. I'll just get you some more in here. Okay. 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 All right, flood it. All right. Oh, okay. All right, ready. All right, one more pass. One more pass. There you go. There you go. Right there. Uh huh. Excellent work. That's good work right there. That's excellent. All right, so. Yeah, this one, the blue, is the primary one that goes all around this. So we're going to need to get good flooding and good so we, squeezing. we're doing four colors here, right? Four colors. This is oh. four colors. All right, give me two good squeezes. Two good squeezes. Two good squeezes. I need them. I need them. Let's go. <laughs> one more time. One more time. All right, and there you go. Excellent. Outstanding. Out freaking standing. All right. Good job. Shut up. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. I did that. All right. Yeah, hold it by this edge right here because we want to do is put it on the dryer. All right. We want this facing up. So we come over here. You got it, baby. You got it. You can lay it flat like that and go down. There you go. Excellent. Let's keep this smooth right here. Comes out the other end. That's your shirt. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. You say you want to do Yeah. Something? Two X. Two X. Good. All right. Anyone else trying to scream for you? Now he got my shirt. I just made Texas made Texas Texas made.
Man, I think I want to uh, screen print now. Oh man. Lotty Dotty, everybody. Bring this the bottom of the oh okay. They've already figured out the hack, yeah. So and, and that's the same thing we used to sell uh the, actually we sell it here for you. Uh the the holy crap So basically what that is is I know what it's gonna be on the class. That's exactly all it is. So they they take it and they 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 put the, the tray up and they have their own system and their own stuff to do, you know, move the tray back and forth. Other than that, it's So like Epson has a lot of stuff like for over there. Uh, so they found out what it is. We have to measure it. It's called Ray Sports. It's right. That's what it is. That's what takes the most time on there. So we get lined up. But what you get lined up is just popping and popping. So oh yeah. So we don't want to put the sleeves like this. We want to hold it in the middle. We want to hold the outside edge. Okay. Tick. We in here. They have one guy got a sample that actually printed on a football slide. Sometimes it does. Yes. So. Uh, you, you, uh, you do well on web printing. Normally, you would take like that flash unit, and you do one thing: you flash it so it kind of dries just a little bit, just on the top, so you can put another color. On the top. But because each one of these is separated, if, if, if you're put a color on top of a color, it actually needs to dry. Um, you know, would have to switch it up to create another screen. Like, screen, like, screen, like, screen, like, screen. So, yeah, yeah, because all this right here, this is all burned off with film. So, that unit that's right behind her right there, that's what you use to what they call it, expose the screen. Yeah. yeah, correct, correct. You can put whatever image you want on there. Correct. Correct. And on a special kind of special kind of printer. Yeah, it's perfect
That's a good print. That's a really good print. Yes, it cures at 330 degrees. Okay. So that means the ink is 100% dry. Right now it's wet. It's wet right now. So once it gets through here, it should be able to touch. It might be a little bit tacky for It's not supposed to be much. It's really tacky and then dry. All right. And that's a big t shirt. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, my shirt is blinking. Thank you. <clears throat> so you tried and you know, whatever. Yeah, you tried and maybe it didn't work out, whatever. But at least you're not out. You know what I mean? Yeah, you this if you scan this and you register for here, resupply sponsors these, you know, and it's over in Fort Worth. You get to all these classes, you know, that's the one you get dirty, you're not get dirty, but you go out there and you're actually learning how to coat screens, you're learning how to do everything from point A all the way to the finished product. Registering everything. It's worth it if you're thinking about doing screen printing, I would highly recommend it. So you have to kind of build it. You gotta, you gotta build that into it. And you know, people that want to get into it, I'll tell them to be careful. Some people are like, oh, yeah, what kind of issue is this? You know, high levels that you have. You know, you have to get the There's better ways, you know, ways to see pieces together and start out. And you know, maybe people are being interested. So let's say you need to find that. You know, start out, do what you need to do. I mean, unless you're in the middle of the screen. So, anytime the picture is screen, you know, it's just going to be a little bit. And then they've got all the pictures to take because they have that initial drive. You know, so. I didn't want to get no ink on me. All right, guys. I think that this is the end of our journey. Okay? Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Well, all right. Okay. So, Now she wants DTS. Nothing. How did you like screen printing? I like it. Yeah. I might try to burn me a screen. Yes. Burning the screen. Reclaiming them is part. That's the thing that I hated doing the most. Reclaiming. Job. Reclaiming. All right. What do you mean reclaiming? Reclaiming. If you don't need that screen anymore, you can uh, take the emulsion off of it and use the screen over again to burn a new screen. Oh. But you, it's, it's basically uh, like it's fabric that's there, and the fabric is holding the emulsion into a stencil. Oh. And um, yeah, you just push it in. Oh. In afternoon, Rapids Pro Expo is now closed. It's closed. 
please remember to keep the aisle clear so that we can pull up the carpet and get your crates back to you. Okay. As soon as so. I was just wanted to tell y'all real quick, um, Hoverflex was the one that had the, um, the uh, powderless DTF, but they look a little busy right now, so I'm going to see if I can find the DTF real, real quick so we can head out, okay? Because they're kicking us out, y'all here. It's like Walmart. Right? Like, I thought look. you said one and done. Well, that that's what I wanted to be, mm -hmm. but then they started talking to somebody, because y'all, I thought y'all was going to do one t-shirt and done. Mm -hmm. Y'all did, uh, how many screen printers, sir? Three. But that's good. Because they see they saw me doing one. Now everybody and their mama want one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you made it look fun. It, it actually did look it looked really fun. I'm glad y'all did it because um oh this is what I want to check out real quick. Some of the Hicks presses, see if they will work with the buddy system, okay? So remember I told y'all there's some quality uh, heat presses, uh, U.S. based, right? Yes, correct. Okay, so uh, this is one of them. Y'all saw stalls. You saw um, what was the other one? Blue. Can't think of it right now. But this is this is Hicks. So this is what other the other brand I was telling y'all about. Um, quality U.S. presses. We've been running into issues with some of the other uh, presses that are being imported in, and they don't have the quality. To stand behind as far as warranty and that sort of thing. Completely understood. So, yeah. in our uh, YouTube community, we have about 17,000 followers. Um, okay. Of and we're starting to see some of those issues come out. And um, one of those things is investing in real, the quality products as, as you're in, investing in your business. So, you might start off with you know a certain press that might have cost you $300, but it, it doesn't heat evenly. You know, the sublimation that's extremely important. Or maybe it's burning at a temperature that's not nearly what it should be doing. Um, so we are looking at these presses, um, and I wanted to see our buddy system has about an inch, it's really more three quarters of an inch that goes behind the heat press, and it allows people to roll it back and forth and put it all over shirts so it's small 16 by 20 press. So they don't have to have electrical wiring, and this might put in 105, you know, uh, 30 by 40 press in their house. Like, so this is a solution that, that we can implement at home. Um, and I'm excited to see that, that I think you do. Do you mind if I pull it down? Oh, yeah, yeah. Take it, take it. Okay. So pull that down here. And the Hicks presses, remember when I told y'all the, I call this the lip profile here? See how the plate hangs lower than the casing here? Well, when the plate hangs lower than the casing, you don't have problems with those lines when y'all get the all over presses. You get those hard lines most of the time because the casing is digging into the fabric on the outside. And that's the problem that we have with some of the um, the hot tronics presses, right? So the buddy system solved that for hot tronics, but I think you wouldn't even have that problem with this one because the, the plate is exposed a little lower than the casing. And you do have clearance. If you see right here through that, you have some clearance back there. So that's perfect. And it doesn't even have to be a pullout. You have plenty of clearance there. That's a 16 by 20? Yes, ma'am. Is that auto open? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. And what's the model for this one? The S650? Yep. And what is what is like this one uh, price range for this auto uh, open? This price on that one is $19.95. Okay. And this auto open, um, are there any other features we should be aware of on this one? Uh, as far as the, we've got a, a brand new upgraded. The uh, digital? We've got a, a brand oh, new full color LCD yeah. controller. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, presets available for different processes. That's smart. That's really smart. So um, when you're and, doing pre-presses... We, we recently so, just upgraded to the pad to one that is more pressure resistant okay. and, and much more durable. So pressure resistant. Y'all know when we're pressing the collars of the shirt, we get that uneven pressure and that's what causes the halo effect a lot of times. So if this foam is an upgraded foam that can help with that system, then this one is a pin out. Um, I can let you press the test now. So this one, okay. I, I haven't got a chance to get this one. I have Geonite, I have um, Stalls, Hotronics, Auto Open, and then I have the Walla Okay. The Walla So I was after, I'll get your information after it. Absolutely. This is the same one, just a 15 by 15? This is actually a... Manual press. Ah, this is not an auto open. It's right. the model HT400. Okay. Um, we do make the same manual machine in a 15 by 15 and a 16 by 20 right. size. 
So what what is the price range on this one? I know it's manual, but it would be uh, 15 by 15 versus 16 by 20. 16 by 20. What's the price? Uh, the 15 there? by 15 is yeah. at, at uh, 16.95. Uh -huh. The uh, 16 by 20 is at uh, 17. So I would suggest y'all go with this one all day. If, it, if, it, if this one were my money and my decision, I would absolutely, because the, the upgrade of building of this is already built into it. And I know that um, dealing with the, the companies that we've dealt with here, uh, we have the warranties. Like, what, what's your warranty look like? The warranty on, on all of our equipment, all of our heat press, is a lifetime warranty on the heat. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. they're, they're not outsourced or imported. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually for our own aluminum caps in our foundry. They run through our machine shop and have a lifetime warning on that. The rest of the machine is really good on everything else. And is that tech support that's offered if anything happens or anyone else Yeah, the, war the warranty is for parts. We've got a complete uh, customer service department that can help out for the technical side of anything, if anything might happen. Uh, questions, uh, processes, that kind of thing. And one more question. Do y'all happen to have a system that has a bottom heat button that works for we don't. Yeah. Not yet. Well, I'll, I'll say not yet. Everything we manufacture right. is, is top heat only. Top heat only? Okay. Yeah. And are the bottom buttons interchangeable or are they fixed? Like how do, how do you do they, they, Although they are fixed, mm -hmm. we do not have an interchangeable platen system. Mm -hmm. um, they are all a floating platen. Oh, you can see yeah. them. Oh, got you. So they do, there is some, some slight movement in the platens mm -hmm. to reduce the pinching angle here at the back of right. being, being that it's a clamshell. I was going to say that makes sense for a clamshell because that's the issue that we have when we're doing them all over is when we do multiple presses. Um, a lot of them that have the fixed bottom plate, when you have that collar or the sleeve or something that's underneath it, it puts that under the pressure and the clamshell doesn't know what to do with that other than just put heavy pressure in the same area. So that, that's actually a, a really good uh, addition to the product man. And um, this one is, a, let's say, about $2,000, auto open. Um, like I said, it has the clearance for the buddy. I will, um, and I'll talk to you afterwards, too. Um, I'll see if, if I hurt some more for the, another heat press I don't need for the shop. Just to make sure that um, that you all are going to have quality products. I can test them out, make sure that they work, and make sure that anything that I recommend to you all is going to be something of, of quality, and I can stand behind it. All right, so um, I think that's it. We saw we saw these people trying to break down, y'all. So we've been here all day. Um, y'all asked whatever y'all wanted to see. Um, we can wrap this up. We'll be in New Jersey on the, is it 20, 24th? 5th, 4th. 25th? Yeah, we'll, we'll get the information. Make sure that you register for the workshop if you want to actually do a hands-on session afterwards. But for now, we're going to wrap this up. Listen, we appreciate you. We love you dearly. And, and I'm gonna let I'm gonna let E pan around to all the coaches and the people who came out here from uh Louisiana, Texas, or uh, uh like uh, Houston, Texas came all the way from Houston. Uh Sharon, you were already here in, in Dallas. Um you you're in you're in Dallas as well. All right, we actually in, in Texas, we have uh, Chicago in the building. You got Florida in the building. Listen, we're going to start coming together, come to these expos. Y'all get in tune with this equipment, the technologies, understand your business and your industry so we can all grow. All right, so go ahead. Let's let's see let's see all the coaches and, and everybody that came. Y'all make sure y'all tell the people on YouTube, hey. Until next time. Until next time. Bye.